First of all, let me thank all of you for coming out, but I also want to thank and acknowledge Leon. Uh, not only do we see him regularly on television, but he is a resident of Montgomery County. Absolutely. And he serves in so many, many capacities, helping our community in so many occasions. Let's give him a round of applause thank for you. all that he does. Thank, thank you, Leon. Appreciate thank you. that. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> thank you. Was that wonderful? Let's give another round of applause for him. Let me just give you a feel for what today is like and why I believe and think Montgomery County is so special. Certainly, we're a large county, well over a million people and a large financial budget of about $5 billion, and we can do big and great things. But oftentimes, it is the small things that brings us together as a community. And today is really no exception to that. We started off this morning at the conference center with 1,200 people out for a breakfast, where our congressman from the 8th Congressional District, Chris Van Hollen, spoke in recognition of Dr. King. Between that time over the next several hours, we've had thousands and thousands of residents come out, a broad array of residents throughout Montgomery County, participating in volunteer activities. We had almost 4,000 people at the conference center Huge turnout at Silver Spring and in Germantown as well. And now we culminate that with this program this evening. This program certainly is a tribute, but it's also a celebration. So we want you to relax and celebrate with us. This county has been celebrating this way for well over 20 years. And we will continue to do so because I think it reflects the spirit of Dr. King. This is really not a day off. This is a day on, where you engage in service projects, where we are out to contribute and, and tribute in, to Dr. King. But it's also a day for us to reflect on those in need in our community. And we certainly have a great number of need in our community. So we can give back. That's a reflection of why this day is so important. But it could not happen without you in the audience reflecting the values of this great community. And we are, in fact, a great community. So I want to acknowledge and thank all of you. Certainly, I want to thank the sponsors who helped make this possible. You have a list of those in the program. Thank the commemorative committee and all of those who helped make this an event possible today. Right now, I'd like to present a proclamation to Ms. Stevens, so she stepped forward. Let's give a round of applause. She's been serving very well for us, please. <laughs> Proclamation, Montgomery County, Maryland. Uh, I'll call Council President Craig Rice to come forward as well. <laughs> Whereas each year, Montgomery County government honors the life, the work, and the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr at his annual tribute and celebration. And whereas Dr. King championed for, championed, championed for civil rights and human rights for all people through nonviolence and collaboration amongst all people regardless of their race, color, religion, education, economic or social status. And whereas the impact of Dr. King's work transcends time and this commitment to service to others is reflected in this year's theme, honoring the legacy, celebrate, serve, remember, and Whereas we acknowledge that we stand on the shoulders of those who stood before us and walk on the paths laid down by the work of our ancestors' tireless hands and unbroken spirit. And whereas currently, Montgomery County can derive much from the fact that Dr. King made jobs, income, and housing the main goals of the Poor People's Campaign in 1968 as the second phase of the Civil Rights Movement to address the limitations of our achievements. Now, therefore, do we, I as a legate as county executive and Craig Rice as county council president, hereby proclaim Monday, January the 20th, 2014, as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day in Montgomery County. We encourage all of our residents to remember and practice Dr. King's principles and his teachings of nonviolent social change and equality for all. It is signed by me and Craig Rice this day. Congratulations.